So it's been about three weeks since my last planche session. So that's actually quite some time for me to lose progression and lose a lot of confidence in the planche. So unfortunately, I got sick. I was out of training for about two weeks. And once I got back in, I was doing very light work, conditioning and high volume work, just so that I could get my body primed for blood flow, get my joints healthy, and so I can introduce myself back into the high intensity and high demand of the planche in a healthy manner. I know the planche puts a lot of pressure and a lot of load on the joints and the bicep tendon. So to ensure that I keep them very um, warmed up throughout that uh, introductory phase, I think that is the most ideal way of going about it. And um, well, this session today was the very first proper attempts at holds. Surprisingly, I actually felt a lot stronger in this session compared to the one uh, three weeks ago. And um, when I think about, or when I try and justify why I felt better, it gets a bit confusing. Because whenever I do, oh, sorry, the trend tends to be that when I lose focus and I don't put much time into the planche, I will lose progression. I need to stay in touch and I need to have high frequency with the, with the planche in order to remain consistent and strong continuously. However, after this, uh, sorry, after this three weeks, I felt strong and um, the holds I was doing with the red hold, uh, the red resistance band, felt very, very solid. I was able to hold them with relatively good form a longer duration than last time, and these 90 degree push ups as well, they felt very, very solid as well. I was surprised, and it's interesting to see that even though I weighed more, I think I weighed about 67 kilos in this session, and this was right after eating dinner. Um, all these counterintuitive factors actually led to a stronger session. So, when I try and review what occurred, I think I need to look at it in a very, um, in a time span. I need to see what was going on throughout the hypertrophy session, I think like a month ago, and see, well, how did that affect my planche training and conditioning in general? I was doing a lot of weight training. I was purely relying on hypertrophy and there wasn't too much strength-based exercises I was performing. Nearly every form of exercise I was pursuing was not calisthenics based, it was weight based, it was like dumbbells, barbells, bench press, occasionally weighted dips, and um, I think it definitely did build a bit of muscle. Obviously, uh, that was only like a month or so of just hypertrophy work, so um, the amount of muscle mass I developed is very minimal. I'm not expecting to gain like one kilo of muscle mass. That's unrealistic, it's doesn't make sense and um, while I do think that I felt stronger in this session, uh, I'm not sure how much I can attribute that to an increase in muscle mass to my like torso region. So maybe that helps with a counterbalance for the planche. To be honest, I don't think that's the case. But um, it's interesting to see that going away from calisthenics, going away from a skill that demands such high frequency and consistency, making me feel stronger is very confusing. I don't think I've experienced this all that often, but I'm feeling strong. I feel great. I'm excited. And I feel like I'm going about plants training in a more effective manner. I'm keeping it short. I know exactly what I need to do. I'm doing like holds, straight arm dynamic work, and then bent arm dy uh, dynamic work. And in the end, either I'll perform like handstand pushups or I would, um, I think I'll replace it or substitute it with weight training because I'm enjoying weight training a lot. I enjoy barbell work and I don't think I'm going to completely sacrifice that purely for the calisthenics grind. So that's basically it and I'll finish it off here.